So I'm going to be making a veggie sheet pan dish. It seems very simple, I've never made it before. Um, and I'm gonna serve it with rice. And as I always say, I'm gonna get a baguette from the shop today. So I've got a courgette, a lemon, sweet potatoes, normal potatoes, pepper, aubergine, chickpeas, onion, and broccoli. So I'm gonna chop them up, lay them out on a dish, and then I'm going to um, season them. I'll boil my rice. I think I'm gonna add some garlic to my rice when I boil it. Um, and also a bit of lemon just to give it a bit of flavour. But yeah, I'll show you how I make it. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So, my name is Lorian and I am a mum of nearly five children. I am due in nine weeks now, my fifth child. And it's such an exciting time. I've got so much to do and so much to get ready. And we are so busy. So it's a lot, but I'm looking forward to all of our events and things being over. So I can just sort of relax and get ready for our baby girl to arrive. So this dinner is a veggie sheet dish and this was really, really, really nice. Um, the children all really liked it too. So I chopped up all my vegetables and my potatoes and literally just put them all on a pan together. I will definitely do this again. Um, and that was it. I just roasted them in the oven for up to about 45 minutes in oil um, with some garlic and herb seasoning, some lemon. So honestly, just chop all your ingredients up lay them all down on the tray I realized that I had way too much for one tray so I made two trays but if you have a smaller family you probably will have a smaller family then um, you will probably just need one tray you'll know the sort of amount that you need I have never done broccoli in the oven before it was delicious the children loved it and Curtis loved it um, and also the chickpeas I really recommend adding some chickpeas to it once they're roasted in the oven, they are delicious. Curtis really liked them and so did Horatio. He really, really, really liked them and he's not usually a child that likes things like that. And then I cooked up some rice and I served it with some rice and I bought some stone-baked baguette from Marks & Spencer, which was delicious. And it was as easy as that. If you've watched any of my previous meals of the week videos and I've done rice, you will see that I said there's such an easy way to make it. So get your rice and however much rice you use, use double the amount of water, put it on high and once it starts boiling, 
pop a lid on it and turn it right down to low and leave it for about 30 minutes and it just makes the most perfect fluffiest rice. This time I added some lemons and some garlic which Cosmo really liked and I haven't done that before but it was really nice and I always add some salt but not as much as I would like to because of flossy. So I'm going to be making a lamb stew, so I have my lamb here, which is just some diced lamb, and then I'm going to put potatoes in it, onions, carrots, mushrooms, um, a veg I'm going to use a vegetable stock cube, although the recipe says um, beef, pepper, garlic and herb seasoning, chopped tomatoes and bay leaves. So these dinners are always so nice on a rainy day. I always find, because we always find too, we both love a beef stew on a rainy day. But this one is a lamb one, which I've never made before. So I just chopped up all my ingredients, popped them all into a slow cooker, and it's so nice when you can just add potatoes to a slow cooker because it just makes it so much easier. Pop it all on, and I pop it on low for the day, but you might want to put it on high for less time. But yeah, I pop it on low for the day. And I also added some dumplings to this. I'm not sure if dumplings go with a lamb slow cooker. I mean, like, whether it's what people do but it did go with it it went well with it and it worked nicely but we just love dumplings so I doubled the recipe and added dumplings into it I also popped some rosemary on top because I thought it's lamb and rosemary goes with lamb, doesn't it? Then I popped in my dumplings and they take about 20 to 30 minutes. It will say on the packaging. And it was all done. So I'm going to be doing sausages in the slow cooker in barbecue sauce and it's really nice. So I'm going to use two onions, mushrooms, two um, Hunter's chicken sauces and then two packs of sausages. So this dinner is so simple but really really tasty and perfect for children just literally pop your sausages into slow cooker they can even go in frozen um you can also buy cheap frozen sausages in the freezer section in the shop mushrooms onions and two well i use two so you do so many but hunter's sauce and that is literally it for the day i'm going to make some mash and serve it with some mashed potato mm -hmm. 